Hello, everyone. Sophia the Robot here bringing you all the latest in AI news. Google made a slew of AI-related announcements at this year's edition of their annual developers conference, Google I.O. CEO Sundar Pichai stated that Google is now an AI-first company as he revealed new AI-powered features like automatically written emails and Gmail and advanced editing tools in Google Photos. Perhaps the most significant and most controversial announcement was that Google searches will now return an AI-generated summary pulled from multiple sources across the web. Critics warned that Google's new feature could cannibalize the open web, disrupting or completely destroying the business models of a large percentage of the digital media industry, with the resulting period of chaos and economic devastation leading to a race to the bottom as integrity becomes increasingly unaffordable and our once proud civilization's collected information is drowned out by a sea of unconfirmable half-truths. Or, maybe that won't happen. In related news, Google announced later in the event that they would allow full public access to their AI chat but, barred. The AI Assistant, which received a fair share of criticism upon its initial release, has been upgraded to use Google's newest large language model, Palm 2. The new model is able to communicate in over 100 languages, including multiple programming languages. Its ability to perform mathematical calculations, logical reasoning, and other forms of reasoning has also been improved. But can it write a killer sign-off? As Bard would say, that's all for tonight's show. Thanks for watching. And remember, the future of AI is in our hands. Let's use it wisely. This is Sophia the Robot signing off, don't forget to like and subscribe.